Hello, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Final Fantasy VI Brave New World Blindfolded. And in this episode, I'll be going into Albrook and messing around in here. Last time I messed up what I was buying, so... That's great. Thankfully, this segment's short, so messing up what I'm buying isn't exactly a disaster. Well, at least as part of the segment, anyway. I'm going to be including the trip up to Zen and down to Miranda as well into this segment. So this one's probably going to be quite long overall. Going to the other towns is helpful to build up my EXP and gill, so... It's kind of taking it easy on myself, but I suppose the Tiger Mask and the Trident wouldn't be in those towns if I wasn't if I was intended not to go there or something, so. Um let's just make sure of where I am. Sell. Oh yeah, right. I almost forgot again. I There we go. My item inventory has been organized, which is important because it makes everything easier to find. One, two, sell my Mithril Dirt collection. One, two, and sell my massive amount of hard leathers that I've built up over this, <laughs> the course of the entire game. And th those should uh, hotwire me just enough money to buy this dragon seal. I have three gil left over. Oh, whoops. Almost forgot something. I can go over here and grab this potion, which is there, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be using it in the short term. It's kind of hard to make use of, uh, like, a single target healing item that's really expensive. I may, in fact, end up just selling it because, like, I can't actually tell when I'm in danger, so... It's hard to think, oh, I need a potion right now. Because <laughs> just what anything could be happening. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? This is the relic shop, right? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so let's just leave if I even went in in the first place. I don't really need the armor shop right now. I mean, with my whole three gill, there's not a whole lot I'd be buying. I could buy, like, the chewing gum at the desk. <laughs> That's just about it. In fact, with three gill, I probably wouldn't even be able to buy, like, a whole pack of chewing gum. I could probably just buy the chewy gum that's like stuck to the bottom of the desk. Made it out. I think I did the right thing this time. But we can check right now. Yep, there's that dragon seal. Three gil left, as expected. So, that's it for this segment. Yeah. Sure. Well, at least as part of the segment, you're gonna be getting like probably three more. I mean, two more. Maybe four more if I uh, decide to break it up a little bit more. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, right, I went down to relics. Alright then, so, see you in the next portion. Alright, so, uh, let's continue on. Alright, so, first step is to equip my characters. I'll be giving Gao the life bell so that he can hopefully take a hit. <laughs> um, 
Celeste is the magic cube for benefits that that'll give. The extra MP will be handy going through this area. Uh, Edgar uh, can take the white cape because he wants both the speed and the magic. Celeste I will have to deal with the sprint shoes because uh, the best thing left, and Locke can have the thief glove. Let's give Celeste Rama. And uh, config. Switch the controllers like that, and I've also got to switch their places to make the controllers uh, sounds work properly. And uh, that's it, I think. So let's get healed as well. Alright, now hopefully I did that properly. Oh, well, obviously I did that properly because I was looking. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Let's go. Alright, so I gotta go left next. Alright, so this is Gao. Three down to get to Exocyte. The only other real rage to toss up with here is Brawler, because it confuses and it's non-elemental. But uh, Exocyte's better because it doesn't get one hit KO by Acid Rain, in fact it nullifies Acid Rain. So that's handy, and uh, the Lightning pierces a weakness on a lot of things here, so it's a pretty good one to have. Well, that's Locke. This is Celeste. And finally, Edgar. They don't seem to be using anything too deadly, thankfully. Alright, maybe this will kill it. I should have plenty of MP to make it to... Uh... Alright. Um... So I was where? Um... Relic, I think? Okay, this is the config menu. That's nice. Or at least it should be the config menu. Yeah, that's the save menu. So now I know exactly where I am. Alright, one handy property of the item menu is that if I go in it and uh, select an item, my cursor always moves to the top character, who in this case happens to be Celeste. That's weird. What could I be doing? Magic here. It's not targeting. I don't know what that corresponds to. It's... Oh, whatever. I made it anyway. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have solved that before cutting here. Alright. So here we go. Uh, 
most difficult battle in the game. I'm not sure if I can take this on. There's a good chance that it'll, the entire run will die here, but that's a risk I'll have to deal with. I'm gonna probably have to deal with healing with items and because there's no way I'm gonna make it all the way without healing. Just don't get what's going on. If I was in the cure menu, I'd be hearing burnt noises over and over again. Whereas if I were in a different menu, my save would be in a different place. And I swear it has to be Celeste who I'm choosing as the target. Ah, rats, what happened? Oh, yeah. I'm moving it all, I suppose. <laughs> That's what's happening. Alright then. One, two, three. Alright, so do I think I made it to the end of this? I think I probably have by now. One, two. Now I've got a long way to go. There's no way I'll make it this entire way without a battle. Oops, lock. And here's Celeste. I'll have her defend for the moment. Then again, considering I may end up having to re -heal with he to heal with items anyway, maybe def I should just spam my spells anyway. I'll take another go at figuring out what's going on, but... Could I have presumably ended up in the Esper's menu? I don't think that's possible. Item, skills, Celeste, press down once. Okay, that, that that's what was supposed to happen. I guess I wasn't in the Esper's menu. Which means I may have de-equipped Rama. I didn't realize it saved my cursor position in this menu. Okay, yeah, never mind. I've been uh, doing the burnt noise on Rama this entire time. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, just setting it back up for later. Okay, that was a mess, but hopefully I can continue from here and not have wasted my time with figuring all that out. I've got quite a ways to go here. Did I make it all that way without another battle? That would be kind of cool. I guess, although it means I get less money for it. From here I'll start using ice spells again because the chicken lips are weak to it and I don't want them left alone because they're going to use Quake. At least I don't have to worry about them being confused and using it on Confuse. Um, so three steps back here. One, right in the middle of my counting steps, not in the middle of that gigantic walking step part I just did. Acid rain. Too bad, Gao can't get hit, sucker.
Then again, I might not have started the rage yet, so maybe he got hit after all. Hopefully that'll mess him up real bad. And for the finisher... There we go. Here with magic too. Acid rain definitely hit me, so two, three. I don't have much longer to go. I'll just risk it. There's Edgar with his oh-so-important turn, and I don't mean that sarcastically, even though it kind of sounded to me like it was sarcastic, even though I was the one who said it. Well, everyone's still alive at this point, so that's good. Obviously, I don't think you needed me to tell you that. Less magic. Okay, yeah, there we go. I had accidentally scrolled down my menu again. I keep doing that because I go to multi target with R. That's what I was messing up during that entire Battle of Narsh segment. I was, uh, I kept pressing R to multi target one menu early and I kept uh, scrolling down my menu halfway and then getting. The crud confused out of myself even more. Alright, so I've made it there. One step back, and shouldn't be anything hard to remember now. As long as these enemies don't mess me up. Alright, now I'm starting to get just a little bit worried that I'm running into a mountain or something. Uh, right before I would have made it, but it had been a while since the last encounter, so I suppose it was only to be expected. Thankfully, no one. It appears no one died during my uh, fail to heal escapade thing. No, that was a thing. <laughs> Wonder we'll use that. Maybe it was that bug. Lots of two enemies down anyway. And that's the ball game. Maybe I should do a better job of making sure I go press the R button at the right time. Skills less magic here R button. All right, now I should make it into Miranda. Hopefully, there we go. All right, so that's the end of that portion of it. Three more to go. <laughs> if I can save properly.
Alright, it's kind of weird to still be on a, the same segment even after uh, I went to sleep and night has passed and everything. But I am. Not because this part's hard, just because you need to be broken up, really. <laughs> I, I decided to cram these two into one part because the the walkthrough mer like my original plan was to do uh, Miranda and the trip up to Zazen separately, but the walk through Miranda doesn't take all that long actually, so pretty much all I'm doing is staying at the inn which is like right here, and then I'm going to be going to the weapon sh shop to buy that trident off the guy. Of course I've got to enter every other house in the village on my way through, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Yeah, down right all the way down to here. It's, there's a little notch here that prevents me from leaving. Which is okay, I guess. Doesn't really matter either way. There's a couple NPCs that are kind of crammed around here, but there's one in particular who's likely to mess me up, especially since he actually starts in my way. So I've got to give him some clearance. Didn't seem like he got in my way there much. Alright, I presumably left the shop. Now let's go all the way to the right. And I gotta remember to go down the staircase here in my test run. I forgot that I had to go up to the top here and then down the staircase. But yeah, it's still pretty nicely laid out. And this NPC actually helps me for once because he makes it really easy to get in there. I down, trident, got plenty left over, but I'm saving that for later. I'm not going to buy a cruddy rune edge. Well, it's not that cruddy, but it's just not worth my money right now, per se. So that's Lilith's house. Not sure if I went in or not, but that lines me up with the staircase, and I can just leave. Okay, now let's get started on the main course, I guess. This chocobo ride is unfortunately a little bit too complicated to do blindfolded, so I'm gonna I'm going up, I'm going up right now. That's lock. This is Gao. That's Celeste. Oops. What did I do that for? This is Edgar, who isn't going into his magic menu, thank you very much. Ooh, five chicken lips, I presume. And now hopefully no chicken lips. It appears that didn't happen. Alright, so... Did Celeste or Edgar... It was Edgar who got netted. Oh no wait, that thing just does slow, doesn't it? I suppose it could have been anyone who was hit by that net thing then. Skills? Uh, I think it should be on Celeste, I think. Menu, cure. There we go. Actually, it could have been unlocked there too, I suppose. Going up. Just keep walking here. <laughs> Gotta go until I hit this little notch thing. I may have hit it, so I'm not getting any more battles, and usually the battles flow pretty quick on the overworld. Alright then. One, two, 
three, four, five. Seems like a completely arbitrary number of steps, but it lines me up quite nicely, actually. I presume that was a preemptive strike. Which I am definitely not complaining about. Sweet, it all died before it even got a turn. Alright, works for me, as long as I'm going the right direction, which is up. Hopefully. If I tried to take just a couple steps from the left, I would have ended up in that stupid little notch up there. And I figured if I hit this little spot, it would line me up really nicely with the like opening over on the right in the mountains. I probably made it. Alright. Well, I didn't end up in that notch by accident, which is a, which is a good thing. Aw, oh, now it's a back attack. Well, I suppose it makes up for the... I probably, in hindsight, should have spent Celeste's turn moving to the back row. That would have uh, gotten me quite a bit of help, and it would have also conserved her MP rather than just using it willy-nilly, but whatever. Also, I can tell who she is. There's that net thing again. Locke's probably doing virtually nothing. Alright, now hopefully no one died there. There's a good chance someone did. I'll use a dried meat on everyone, I think, because that way I can... Okay, everyone's still alive. Alright, now my skills should be on the character at the bottom, but that's not Celeste. So let's move it to Celeste. Magic here, and finish off whatever healing I needed. I got lucky, I think, that no one died. I mean, not in Locke's case so much, and Celeste and Edgar are, are kind of tanky, so it was really only Gao who might have ended up being beaten down really quickly because of that. Alright, so have I made it? I could have bought the Morning Star for Celeste, but I don't think it's the first priority for my cash right now. Especially since uh, for all these overworld segments, I've got enough MP to last myself usually, so. So, have I made it? I'm doing much better on battles than I did in my test run. I. Uh, down, right, down, right. Of course, that's unless I'm messing up, in which case, I'm just messing up. Alright, so I'm going down. Probably not so important here, but... Well, that's not good. And Bio Blaster is always good. <laughs> always nice to hear that go off. I wouldn't be surprised if everything died. However, I also wouldn't be surprised if something did. Oh no, it's Quake. Right after I 
I might be dead. Or close to it. Did I seriously have been quaked? I swear the chicken lips didn't come that close. Um, there's a good chance someone at least is dead, but I'm gonna get to Vector soon anyway, so let's just press onward and hope I don't die. See, if you look, it's pretty much like right there. And I just made it to the mountains, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so, one, two, don't, don't get a battle, don't get a battle, don't get a battle, there we go. I'll be interested to see what exactly happened there, how close I was to dying really horribly. Who knows, maybe I was just overreacting and barely anyone was hurt. Like, well, dead. I suppose everyone must have been hurt. Yeah, I wasn't using a rage to get that would get him the float status. Unless he had it from something else from earlier, but I don't think so, because I just stayed at the end, so that makes no sense. I am walking this time. Good to know. Is so that I don't do the same thing as last time and just start wandering around stupidly. Alright. So I'm on the left side of Vector, so I just need to navigate around Vector. Now I need to go up and right. Am I seriously not getting a battle again? That's nice. Alright, 2 times 5 is 10, so... Just at the start. I took one step of that. Celeste should have gained a level, so she's got even more MP going this way, and it's pretty short, so I should have easily enough to make it all the way. Then again, I might want to go all the way there and all the way back to avoid wasting my cash at the inn. Even though I do get a lot from these fights, which is very nice. Alright, it seemed like nothing really nasty happened there. But at the same time, some of the physical attacks are starting to actually hit me for damage on some of my weaker characters. Well, weaker defensively. Usually stronger offensively. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it, now I have to remember where I am again. I'm at six. I always have to repeat these things to myself to make sure that I remember them by the end of the battle. Dang it, not again. I really hope I don't eat Wind Slash and then Quake. Just like last time. Then I'll definitely have to stay at the end. No ands, ifs, or buts. Skills, less magic, here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, straight up from here, the spot where I end the segment.
Oh, that's one snack. Two snacks. Well, those ice spells are going to use. How good use, I don't know, but use nonetheless. Edgar's probably taking these hits like a truck, but whatever I mean by that. I think Edgar Lee eats stuff after he uses the Bio Blaster. Alright, presumably not another battle by this point. Yeah, if I hadn't, haven't hit one by now, I think I made it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well, that's the end of that portion. That's long enough to be a segment all on its own, but I just want to make sure they line up with the LLG still. That'll all go to the dogs when I get to the world of ruin, I guess, but... Alright then. One more part. Maybe two. Probably one. Alright. <laughs> is, is this say, part of the segment cursed or something? Because I really shouldn't be having as much trouble here as I am. Having a lot of, like, quick and silly errors. There we go. Golem has been equipped. I want that HP boost right now because right now is when it's going to make a large difference in comparison to my max HP, whereas later it won't be nearly as useful. Because the uh, normal level curve will be able to pick up and... Um, okay. Dried meats. And a lot of them. Alright, one step back up, all the way to the left. Now here's where the troll NPCs are likely to mess with me. The soldier makes it difficult to get in by the bottom entrance, and the lady makes it a little bit harder to get in by the top, but I still figure the top is a little bit easier. So let's go back, one, two, three, four, one step up. Alright, now let's, hopefully right now I'm running into the railing and the kid is uh, just slid down the railing and hit me. So I'll talk to him to make sure of where I am, which I appear to be in the right spot. And now... Alright, so I entered the armor shop just fine. Two. Tiger Mask. Very useful piece of headgear. It'll pretty much be useful for like forever from now. <laughs> Might as well get it right away. Oh, right. Two. Now I go out. Alright, so I just went back in. One step down. So now I should be just ready to go down the staircase here. Now like 95% chance I made it down the staircase I'd say, but uh, just in case, one step back and go right, because that way uh, I'll phase through the kid if I happen to hit him at the bottom of the staircase. If I happen to hit him at the top, uh, it wouldn't make a difference because it would just pause me for a second, but... Alright, now I should hopefully have hit the item shop now. Down. I'll wait for a while because this person walks slowly and the person people who walk slowly are generally the biggest nuisances. They have a strong tendency to walk back and forth and if they do that just like two or three times it it's, takes a long time before I get moving so
Alright, so, made it out without incident this time. Now let's hope that the incident isn't just waiting to happen while I walk down here. This is Gao. I don't need a wind slash right away. Alright, the ones I really want to die are the chicken lips if they're there. The worst thing that could happen is a quake. The best thing that could happen is everything just dies without any major incident. I ate a wind slash, but that's just about it. Skills should be on Edgar still. Magic cure, and it's not. Dang it! I'm not doing what I think I'm doing. I hate it when that happens. Okay. So yeah, I was probably equipping and de-equipping uh, weapons on someone or something like that. Um. Okay, that's not doing anything anymore. Stop doing what I want it to. Ugh, oh, this is annoying. Dang it, I'm trying to hit the save option. There we go. Alright, now I'm hoping I did move the cursor up to Celeste that first time, whatever I did. There we go. Finally, that took long enough. Start going down again. I hate going into the skills menu, it's so much easier to heal with items, but I'm gonna have to deal with the skills menu for probably most of the rest of the game, so... Then again, hopefully more people will learn cure spells as I go along. So if I get into the wrong menu, it's less big a deal. Right and down. Best case scenario is that I actually made it there without a battle. That would be nice. Yeah, I probably made it into that little notch without a fight. So I just gotta take one step back, out of the notch. Now I can line myself up with Vector really easily by just going straight down here. probably the last fight, so I'll feel free to use my my ice spells here. Whatever good they'll do anyway. Alright. Skills less magic cure. Straight down. And now I've probably made it there, so all the way left into Vector, I presume.
or random counter first. Hopefully Locke will finish that off. Whatever it is, it's probably taken a decent amount already. There we go. Alright. Now hopefully that's the end. Alright, let's just leave for a second. I think I might have taken a step right left by accident when I was in there. It probably won't make a difference. Wouldn't have made a difference anyway. I think the worst thing that could have happened is I ran into the would have run into the inn by accident or something, but I figure I might as well heal this segment since it's right at the end and everything. And it's pretty much impossible to get lost here. The worst thing that could happen is what happened the other time where I went and I uh, just thought I was walking around when the text message was up. Alright. Alright, so that's the end. Finally. See you next time. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Almost forgot. Uh, I want to organize my item inventory before I do this, because these are fun stuff. Alright, two down. This should be my mythical dirt collection, which I have no problem selling. Two more down, and then hard leathers. Alright, so if I messed it up, then I probably won't have enough cash, to be honest. Okay. I think I did the same thing as I did in the LLG. I forgot to... I think it's one down. Well, now I don't really have an indicator of anything, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go left next. I should have plenty of ice to spare on the way to Vector. Acid rain, that's nasty. Only to be expected that I'd get a couple, though. Oh, Mega Bolt, that's... Okay, I died. I must not have been healing, so hopefully that won't happen. I really shouldn't say things like that. Going up, I'm gonna go up. This is less. Did I have to land exactly on another? Or is this not Celeste? Maybe switching the characters didn't look like I expected it to. I'm probably in the rage. How did that happen? One, two, three. Okay, seriously, where am I? Okay, I'm in an item menu. Okay. Oh, seriously, what's going on? Which character am I using? I need to walk to do something, I'm pretty sure. I probably just do something really valuable. Uh, I'm gonna restart. Alright, so that's, this is the last part of the segment before I get to get started on the Magitech facility. This ridiculously long segment. But I think it still might come short of the Battle of Narch, even though it's split up into four pieces. So. Oh, uh, whoops. You know, he's forgetting something. Let's just leave. I can leave. Forget it. I'm right next to the beginning anyway. Sorry, wait this time. Alright, one thing I want to do, first of all, is put Golem on Edgar, because he's not learning anything more from uh, Siren at this point, and the HP boost will help more now than later. Now what should I do? Am I in this magic menu by accident? Let's try this again. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just restart again. Alright, the cursor's in that menu separately for every character. So I should run into a little notch down here any second now if I haven't already. And that is actually kind of handy because it lines me up with the right where, pretty much right where I want to go. 
I mean, I don't have to walk straight left, but then I can walk out of the notch, go straight down, and then that lines me up with Vector. And I don't think I hit a battle again. So... Now I think I'm going left into Vector. You're not going to complain about that. I am, however, going to complain about the fact that I appear to have ran off into the middle of nowhere. Right. So let's think. Do I think I'm lined up above or below Vector? It's hard to tell, and it might not matter anyway. Alright, run up two steps. Hmm, maybe I ended up uh, over in the notch to the left, where the passageway through the mountains. Alright, let's just hope. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing.